What's up everyone? Here is Conversion Club in the year and we are happy uh, to present you our new edition of our online conferences. After being locked down at home for a while, uh, we decided to entertain you and we started our own series of interviews. And today we have an amazing guest. His name is Paul, Paul J. Uh, for sure you guys know this amazing person, kind guy and we're really happy to have a second for a quick chat with him. So what's up Paul? How are you? Hey, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm an affiliate marketer. I've been in the space for about six years. Uh, you know, originally started out as a cab driver and got in that, taught myself SEO, uh, went on to build some apps and then eventually found out about affiliate marketing uh, through a guy named Elton and then kind of went down the rabbit hole on STM and spent a good few years learning how to do performance marketing and then that's kind of where I'm at now. So I would like to know your story, just a small introduction. Yeah, so you know in 2016 I started a company with two partners called Synapse Media Group. Uh, we grew that to about 17 people in total doing like a lot of affiliate marketing on Facebook. A little bit of agency stuff, but primarily just like, you know, just affiliate offers and running that through Facebook accounts. Um, recently, kind of, you know, we had different visions as partners, and so we kind of decided to go separate ways, and so we exited that business. Now I'm focused more on like taking what I know from affiliate marketing and transitioning to building more longer term assets. Still run like affiliate campaigns, but you know, it's definitely not 100% of my focus anymore. It's been more like, how can I take what I know about how to drive high volumes of traffic and customers and then now own the customer, own the brand and kind of take that whole thought process of what you run campaigns and kind of build those assets. Instead of building those assets for other people, how can I kind of build those assets for myself and not only create cash value, but how can I create enterprise value that I could sell later? So. I'm starting to build a team uh, with the new company and we're basically focused on building brands and assets that we can kind of use affiliate marketing to power. Tell us more about your traffic and your offers and verticals, what you're running right now in this coronavirus condition. So in terms of what kind of traffic I run, so I mainly focus on lead gen and e-com and when I say e-com, like I don't drop ship, I don't do any of that kind of stuff. Um, I either run e-com through affiliate networks or I look at building e-com brands that I can own and operate myself. Um, on the lead gen side, just, you know, all kinds of different lead gen, I especially focus on stuff that's more like the money saving niche right now, because I think that's gonna work well with the whole coronavirus situation. Um, in terms of traffic and what's relevant right now, I think like with coronavirus, there's kind of two approaches. One approach is that if your product is something that people will still consider buying in this climate, you need to adjust your messaging, meaning that like, you know, if you think about how people process their feed right now, like it's it's been a common conversation amongst marketers is that people's consumption has spiked, but the way they consume has also changed completely um, in terms of like, if I open my newsfeed right now and just start scrolling, there's gonna be so much um, content in there that's just purely about coronavirus. It's just breaking news, this many people dead in Italy, breaking news, Trump says this about coronavirus, this many businesses are filing for bankruptcy, blah, 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 blah. And so I think people's feeds are inundated with like negative content, really stuff that scares the living shit out of people. But I think the problem with that is in that kind of atmosphere where it's just like every other post is just panic and people freaking out and just bad headlines, it's harder to capture uh, people's attention and it's even harder to convert them. So I think in that kind of space and environment, you really need to focus on your messaging or uh, and also your product because like certain products, I believe you can rehash the messaging in order to get them to work. So like, you know, if you're a supplement company, you might try like a, you know, stock up and save or like, you know, bundle and, you know, almost like slightly hint at the hoarding aspect of it but you don't want to be in a position where you're selling a product right now that is just has no demand, right? Like for example, like travel, hotels, you know, Airbnb, this kind of stuff is just getting completely wrecked. So I think that if your product is gonna, can be sold in this marketplace, then I would say that it is worth pivoting and testing different angles and offers that can actually work. But if your product is just a complete write-off in this space, you might want to pivot to running verticals that will work. 
Um, right now, I think that there is definitely verticals that are working. I would look at stuff like where people can save money. Uh, e-com is still working. I just think the product mix and what kind of e-com offers are working have changed. But, you know, I've seen really good margins on some campaigns that I've run in the e-com space. Um, and, you know, I'm loading up more lead gen as well. Um, so I definitely think focusing on those verticals will work going forward. I just think that you got to steer away from stuff where the demand has just completely dried up. By the way, I really like the paintings on your own. It looks really nice. So does this epidemic change your lifestyle for sure change? <laughs> so tell me, how do you manage to work from home and being locked down? Yeah, so in terms of the pandemic kind of impacting lifestyle, it's definitely shitty. Because, uh, you know, I am a pretty outgoing person. I enjoy having lunch meetings and getting out of the house and, you know, meeting with people. But now it's like really fucked up and you have to sit at home a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely working from home I'm trying to get it, create a good routine for myself so I can kind of like um, stay more. I, I find that routines help you keep like a good stable state in terms of what your you know how you feel and your kind of like motivation and all the rest of that um i was going into the office until the the building kind of sent out a message saying that they're no longer supporting having people in the office because of like they're freaking out about the whole coronavirus situation so i've been working from home um and the team is completely distributed so basically work over slack and asana and everything else and basically like you know if, if there's any other business that was built to deal with this it's affiliate marketing so there's not much change it's just that instead of going into the office i'm just logging in from home and setting everything up from here so what is your personal prognosis for this year i hope they are positive and do you think will it, will it affect other affiliate business so I think in 2020, it really depends like how you react to the situation. I think if you're a smart marketer, it can be your best year ever. Um, if you're not adapting and you're not changing how you approach your angles, you approach your offers, how you kind of approach the whole landscape, uh, there's a good chance you might get wrecked. Um, but I think it's, it's actually, as an opinion overall, I would say I'm very optimistic because I think... Um, you know, I probably wouldn't be saying that if I own like a brick and mortar pizza store or something or a restaurant because, you know, that's a much more challenging landscape to navigate. But for those of us who work online in the affiliate or e-commerce space, it's like you have endless offers to pick from. You know, you have all the opportunity in the world to pivot. You can change your marketing angles on a dime. You have so many opportunities to kind of like weather this storm. Um, not only do your staff not to need to be in a physical place together, but your product mix can change overnight and how you market campaigns can change overnight. And so I think it, it can be amazing and it, it has been really good so far. And, you know, coronavirus, despite all the negativity around it, has been actually rather good for me and my campaigns and our team. So I think for everybody else, it can be good. It's just how you approach. I think that the marketers who freeze up, get scared, don't adapt what they're doing or just like stick to verticals that are dying. Like, you know, right now, if you're promoting in the travel niche, you probably need to explore ditching that for something that's actually working. But I think if you actually move and kind of box with what's happening, you, you can do really well. And so I think 2020 is a year to be optimistic. I, I feel really bad for people in the, you know, physical businesses and well, offline businesses and retail and stuff like that is going to do really have a really tough time of it but i think that for those of us in the online marketing space it's just you know prices just got cheaper people are still converting so there's a lot of opportunity on the table and i think it can be really good if you approach it right i would like to know your personal goals for this year maybe you will have some new projects so um my personal goal uh for this year is basically like i want to move away from affiliate marketing as much as possible i love affiliate marketing don't get me wrong it's something i'm passionate about and, I, and i've you know learned to be very good at it but i think that you know for me personally i don't like the fact that i'm constantly helping build other people's assets and just you know over the last few years i've you know been researching a ton about how companies are bought and sold and how this all works and i think the thing that i found challenging is that Media buying businesses rarely ever get sold. Um, if anything, they're just as good as the cash arbitrage that they provide. And so for me, I really want to focus on building assets that, you know, you could exit at a later date. So, you know, if you start a, a supplement brand or you start a, you know, e-commerce brand, 
not only do you get the same benefits of the cash arbitrage, but you also have the potential to exit something if you have a real brand there. So for me, it's it's really about uh, you know staying on this vision and this goal and this journey of taking what I know from affiliate marketing and all the insights of like scaling customers and scaling user acquisition at like rapid scale and doing that for a brand that I own and assets that I own that I could later at some point, you know, put them all together and sell it off to somebody if I want and get not only the cash value, but the enterprise value. So definitely goal is to, to move the portfolio away from just affiliate marketing campaigns and more towards brands and assets. And of course, my last question, but most important, tequila or vodka? Um, so tequila or vodka, I definitely go vodka. I'm a vodka cranberry guy, but uh, I've had equally terrible times on both of those. Facebook or Google? Um, Facebook versus Google, I would definitely uh, say Facebook for me, but you know, Google is a huge source. I know guys that crush on GDN. And black hat or white hat? Um, in terms of white hat versus black hat, um, I definitely say white hat because I think black hat is uh, it's awesome, has crazy ROI, you can do a lot, but in terms of it comes with a lot of headaches, accounts, and all this kind of thing. Uh, on the Facebook side, uh, e-com is definitely not good margins if you're on the white hat side, but at the same time, you have the sustainability, the ability to exit for enterprise value, you're building brands. So it just really depends what you're up to and what you want to do, but uh, I think there's benefits to running on either side of the fence there. Uh, but definitely my focus has been on the white hat, uh, e-com and the gen side. Thank you so much, Paul, for having this chat with us. We are really happy that you found for us some time. I know that you're very busy. And for you guys, I just want to remind you that Conversion Club started an amazing adventure. We are helping uh, hospitals and doctors that are fighting with coronavirus right now. And we decided to create amazing DJ festivals uh, where big affiliate marketing and digital marketing companies will support and sponsor. So guys, just press this link on that link and donate. It doesn't mean that you need to do donate millions, but maybe five, 10 years you change the life of someone. So guys, bye bye. We are really happy to hear, have you here. So stay with us and stay tuned with Conversion Club. Bye bye.